in an average town lived an average boy with average pants. Kyle Lipton lived an average life until one extraordinary moment. Carefully in this dimension. One wrong move, one false step, and you'll miss all the ice cream. This is awesome! <laughs> Ancient unicorn proverb! Eat your ice cream today, because tomorrow the ice cream monster eats you. Uh oh, he's early. <laughs> dimensional mentor ever. Why, thank you. I totally agree. <gasps> A unicorn call. We have to go. A call from Unicorn High Council. This is serious. How's my mane? <gasps> oh, my gosh. Oh, great Toron. <laughs> Elder of Unicorn, my ever sharp horn supervisor. Such filth! Now I've truly seen all the horrors in the universe! <laughs> okay, now I've seen all the horrors in the universe! Uh, where was I? It is time for your mentor work to be tested. Prepare thyself. The test begins in four million quadrasecs! Uh, but that's tomorrow! No more goofing around! We've got to clean you up before that crusty boar of a unicron elder sees you! Uh, I haven't signed off yet. <laughs> Why are you so worried about this Zoron guy anyway? I'm a great Dr. D. You say so all the time. If Zoron thinks you're a bad Dr. Dimension Pants, he'll send me to the unicron penalty box. <laughs> The penalty box. I'm so wetting my dimension pants. That's because you won't be in it. Just please, please don't embarrass me. Wait! I'm uh, embarrassing? No, 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 no. Well, yes. But you told me you send video updates to Unicron every week saying I'm awesome. And I do. Dr. Dimension Pants, what a hero. Trained by Philip, the superior uni mentor. And check out those abs. Whoa, I've got abs of steel. Wait, show me that video again. Oh. Can you believe that guy? I thought we were friends, but all this time, I'm just a big fat embarrassment. Kyle, it was just a spat. You and Philip are still besties. See? Ha! Well, this is what I think of these. <laughs> you get the point. Well, fine. Philip's embarrassed by me. I'll give him something to be embarrassed about. Kyle, you're not deliberately going to mess up the test, are you? No, I was just going to paint Philip to look like a zebra. But that's a way better idea. <laughs> <laughs> you got any scissors? The ceremony of testing. Truly a solemn occasion. And now for the ceremonial headgear. Ah, ceremonialicious. Zoron of Unicron, welcome. Be warned, Philipponius. If I find your mentorship wanting, I shall sentence you to the Unicron penalty box for a thousand years. <laughs> to begin the ceremony of testing, I present to you Dr. Dimension Pants. Well, get my Dimension Pants and call me Doctor. Sorry, baby. Ever been to the giant rib dimension? 
<laughs> and I'm doomed. Let the ceremony of testing begin! First test, monster fighting! Avoid the goo and defeat the beast! <laughs> Not a drop of goo on me! Second test, portal making! Hmm, pleasing shape. <laughs> Sorry, meant to go with mint chip. Final test, teleportation! Oh, is it just me or is it hot in here? Hey, Mentor, who's embarrassing now? Pretty sure it's still you. Philipponius of Unicron! I declare you an utter failure as a mentor. You are hereby banished to the Unicron penalty box. <laughs> That'll learn them. The old Unicron penalty box. That's the penalty box? I was picturing a sort of plexiglass deal with, you know, just some spit on the floor. Dr. Dimension Pants, I have shown mercy on Philipponius. He will only be penalty boxed for a short time. A mere 28 trillion quatrasecs. Is that good? It is only 900 of your years. <gasps> Fear not! I have already dispatched your new Unimentor. Snack time's over, Buttercup! Give me 50,000 dimensional power squats! Dimension away? Some reps. Hello, anyone? You need potty break. Philip, are you okay? Do I look okay? Don't worry, I'm busting you out. No, just go home. You'll only make things worse if that's possible. Philip, time for your hourly horse smoking. <laughs> I decree that Philip will now serve another 28 trillion quadrasecs! That's another 900 years! Ah! Wait, I was just yanking your tail before. I'll prove I'm a good Dr. Dimension Pants. Philip's an amazing mentor. It's not fair to punish him because I was goofing around. Sorry, baby, please. I promise never to call you Zori Baby again. Enough! You may have one retest, but fail, and Philip shall remain in the penalty box with you! Maybe 28 trillion quadrasecs isn't so long after all. First test, monster fighting! Another 28 trillion quarter sacks! Oh! Second test, portal making! Ta da! One ultimate Sunday from the ice cream dimension! Ooh! You I should have got him something from the hot soup dimension! Another 28 trillion quarter sacks! Philip, I am so sorry, buddy. I'm also sorry that this is my best. Well, you're trying, and that's worth something. Something like 2,700 years in a penalty box, but still. Final test, teleportation! You asked for it, sorry, baby! Unacceptable! You forfeit the test and the dimension pants! Um, Zoran? 
silence! I sentence you both to an it. Boy, do I wish I closed that portal. <sighs> I really am the worst mentor ever. What? No way! You taught me lots. Like, eat your ice cream today, because tomorrow the ice cream monster eats you. Ancient unicorn proverb, very after me. Wait, eat your ice cream today. Hey, butt face! Self-worthy, Dr. Dimension Pants, which means Philip did something right. I did? Huh, I did! Now departeth before I change my mind, but heed my words. Take the power of the pants seriously. So you're saying this is the most serious way to roast marshmallows? Seriously. <laughs> Handstand with no hands? Dimension upside down! Oh. Yeah, I guess that's better. Gee, you certainly showed her. Sure did. You can't get back down, can you? Nope. <laughs> Kyle, see my painting? Teacher says I really bring things to life. Oh, yeah? Two can play at that game. I guess I'll just start over. Shouldn't you take care of that? Hold on. I'm not done being smug. Kyle, look! I made a solar-powered popcorn machine. Isn't it neat? Ha! You want to see some power? Lightning dimensions! Ta-da! In case you're wondering, the trick is to have superpowers. I just thought you'd like it. To ignore free popcorn, but you do realize your little sister just wants you to be proud of her? Nah, she just wants to show me up. But she can't, because I'm a superhero. And that pretty much rules. You should still be nicer to her. That's not a job for Dr. Dimension Pants! <laughs> Dr. D! Duck! Don! Pivot! Shimmy! Shimmy? <laughs> Safe. You're not helping. Okay, okay. The Slugger Clops has a special weakness. Really? Dementia Lemon Squeeze! <laughs> the monster's gone. Back to finding the Chosen One. It was nothing. Wait. The Chosen One? Oh, right. Whoever pulls a weapon from the stone is supposed to get superpowers. Who'd believe a silly legend like that? As the defeater of the Slugger Clops and the only superhero in my family, I will be the first to try. Did you just butt in line? Chosen Ones don't wait. Now, behold! <laughs> I said behold! Continue beholding! <sighs> what is this rock's problem? I think it's time we head home. <sighs> yeah, maybe you're right. This isn't what I meant. And those people weren't happy you stole their sacred rock. Go, oh, they'll be fine when I become the chosen one. What's this? Superhero stuff you wouldn't understand. Amanda, you did it! That's impossible! How did you pull out the pink feather? <laughs> All this time, it was just a dumb feather? <laughs> you can keep it! Looks like you're not the only hero in the family! This is a job for Dr. Dimension! <laughs> You're all safe. Hey, that was my rescue. 
Me? Pink Feather, you're fantastic! Oh, hello! You? Uh, hey guys, who wants a super cool Dr. D keychain? <sighs> no thanks. That guy is so last year. Oh, hey Dutch! Uh, see you at the Dr. D fan club meeting tonight? Meeting's canceled! It's all about the Pink Feather now! Big rules! Tickle, 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 I don't tickle. get what people see in her! So many things. Strength, wisdom, a wicked cool feather. People only think she's great because she hasn't gone up against anything tough. The second she does, she'll crash and burn. Or she'll be even greater than ever. Look, there she goes now. There will be no traffic as long as the pink feather's around. Yay! So, Pink Feather, your weakness is getting dirty, is it? Um, what hero strokes his chin all schemy like that? Shh! Hero scheming? No, you cannot use the pants to get back at your sister! I'm not getting back at her, I'm getting even with her! Yeah. Well, that's the same thing! And she didn't even do anything to you! Yeah. Why can't you get over it and admit that your little sister is great? <laughs> Gee, you're right. I need to think about this. Nice to hear that for once. You know, wearing the pants helps me think. Oh, well, in that case... Ha! Bold you! Dimension up! Mud dimension. They gotta have something that can wreck an outfit. Whoa! You see that splat? He so went splat. <laughs> I just hit pay dirt. Dimension portal amplifier. Yes. Uh, hey, football. You talking to me? Uh, sure, you'll do. I just found the cleanest, most unmuddy spot in the universe. It's called Ganderville. I'd say you should mess it up, but I doubt you're mud enough. Oh, yeah? It's splattering time! <laughs> <laughs> if there's a smart mud ball, I haven't met it. <laughs> Giant, dirty, clothes wrecking mud ball. I'd stop it, but you've been on such a roll lately. Uh, this is a job for the pink feather! Ha! I knew you'd chicken out. Wait, really? It's a dirty job. Are you sure you want to do it? No, but if the city's in trouble, someone has to. <laughs> Come along for the ride! Help! <laughs> well, I hope you're happy. Now the city, your sister, and my clean white linens are doomed. Relax, I got this. First things first, I'll divert the mud ball away from Ganderville. <laughs> what gives? He went right through the portal the last time. What? You brought this mud ball? Mom! Hey, you started this by 
by horning in on my superheroing. I'm the hero. It was my thing. You're good at everything else. Hi, hello. Can you stop bickering and save the city now? Yeah, your family drama is really harsh in my fun. According to my calculations, if we combine your dimensional energy with my feather power, the force might be enough to destroy this disgusting mud ball. Hey, I'm right here, you know. Not for long. Hold on. This might get messy. The glass must have destroyed my feather and all my powers. So I'm the only hero again? Yes! Uh, you like that? Uh. Yes, bravo. Very classy. <sighs> hey, sis. Uh, too bad that the pink feather is gone. She would have made a great sidekick. I mean, partner. A, a great partner. <sighs> That's okay. It was worth giving up the feather if it meant saving the city. Oh, this was all my fault. I was so busy being jealous. I should have just been proud of how awesome you are. Thanks, Kyle. You know, if there's only one hero in this family, I'm glad it's you. <laughs> okay. Thanks, sis. Until the next time the world needs the pink feather.